past was good present is better and future of india shall be glorious there is no doubt in that viewers india has stood the test of the times and right now india is going through the transition phase in almost all the spheres and at such times dreams about future become all the more important and vision is such a unified whole of dreams learning from the past and working enthusiastically for the future is what the purpose of vision is my vision of india has various hues yet leading to an all encompassing totality i visualize an india where democracy in its full bloom i visualize an india where centralization and decentralization of powers are working in tandem for the welfare of the people i visualize an india where government is fulfilling its promises through directive principles of state policy and people are keen to do their fundamental duties i visualize an india where human rights are not violated i visualize an india where rights of minorities are protected and especially the rights of hindus who are in minority in jammu and kashmir their rights are well protected women deprived and depressed their rights are well protected i visualize an india which is militarily strong and can deal with any internal or external armed aggression against her effectively is india of my dreams an india which is economic superpower and providing food for every mouth and work for every hand an india where economic development takes priority over the economic growth an india where quality of life is best in the world an india where people are happy and jo enjoying their pursuits of economic activity an india living for development which is sustainable and thus not closing the options for the future generations i visualize an india which is economic superpower and gets hardly affected by any internal or external reasons we was on this 75th independence day which we are celebrating in the form of azadi ka amrit mahotsav the biggest challenge that i see india right now is confronting is with its uncontrolled population and you all know that uh, india is the second most populous country in the world and the different reports are suggesting now that we are going to surpass china in the coming uh, one or two years and that's a very dangerous sign so i visualize an india whose population is in control i visualize an india where various social abuses like child abuse drug abuse etc are done away with the spread of education and employment i visualize an india which is able to manage its conflicts and is capable to remove the root cause of those conflicts and india has already started doing that to uproot all those issues or the conflicts which are a threat to its integrity security and sovereignty i visualize an indian society where there is no discrimination on the basis of caste color creed and sect women and dalit empowerment reach to such a level where there is no oppression i visualize an indian society which is reformed i dream an india where education enlightens and all its citizens are educated and are realizing their full potential a country where education is value based and not just career oriented a country with modern infrastructure facilities dynamic leaders and excellent teachers a country where scientific temper is imbibed 
I dream an India as a leader in science, space and technology where nanotechnology is doing wonders for the masses and biotechnology is increasing the productivity in agriculture sector and helping in the prevention of diseases also. I visualize an India which is a leader in science, space, technology, communication, in nuclear technology for peaceful purposes, pure sciences, mathematics. I visualize an India which fosters creativity to produce more Bodhyanas, Hemchandras, Aryabhattas and Sushrut, Tagus, Subhash, Savarkas, Sardars and Shastris. India is a pure democratic republic and is the best example of tolerance in the world. An India which is a fine balance of both spiritualism and materialism. An India where the best of both Oriental and Occidental values are blended together to come at a judicious mix. Viewers, you all know that India is a huge country and it has a long history and a proud culture. The geographical diversity of India is mind-boggling and I visualize an India where ecological balance is well maintained. Trees are so much in number because of the social forestry and I visualize an India where there is no conflict over the water. Traditional wisdom and modern technology work hand in hand for in water conservation. I dream in India where vagaries of monsoon are well dealt with. I visualize an India where there is no housing problem. I visualize an India where population control, education and employment are leading over no burden on the cities. I dream where sustainable agriculture is able to provide food and the financial security to its teeming millions. Viewers, India has well-defined land laws, but the need of the hour is to implement more land reforms for the betterment of the farming community. Integrated nutrient management and integrated pest management both are helping in increasing the productivity by leaps and bounds. I dream in India where man-made disasters are minimized by the training and supervision. At the same time, I dream an India having well-oiled machinery to cope up with the natural disasters like earthquake, floods and droughts and other natural calamities. I dream an India which is able to provide food for every mouth, work for every hand, spark in every eye and joy in every soul. This is my vision, profound yet practical, high yet reachable, simple yet beautiful dream for my nation that reverberates in my soul with every breath I take and every move I make. It is rightly said that future belongs to those who see the beauty in their dreams and work for it. So I give a clarion call to all my countrymen to come and work together for common objective of restoring our motherland with its pristine glory. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.